Yo, yo, what's up, everyone? This is your boy, Vintage Fire Alarm Guy. Happy Fire Alarm Friday. Today, we're doing System Test 29 with the FCI FC2224 Fire Alarm Control Panel. So, anyway, let's get started. Over here for pull stations, I have the Alarm Industry Products um, 270 SPO. It's the same thing as the Edwards uh, versions. This is a rebrand by um, Alarm Industry Products. So, Anyway, that is the first initiating device on the system. Up here, I have the System Sensor 2400. I replaced the Simplex 498 uh, heat detector. I just put this up because I want to do a couple more system tests with smoke detectors before I'm going to put the heat detector up permanently up in the garage. So, yep. So anyway, that is the smoke detector on the system. And then over here, I have the Simplex Canadian um, pull station. I'm not sure what the model is, but um, I think it's like MS301C or something like that. I think that's the model. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to check on the inside. So, yeah. But yeah, so that is our um, initiating devices. And now the notification appliances. Up here, I have the Wheelock RS. This is the vertical mount RS. It's almost like the same thing as the RSS, but it says vertical mount. See? Yeah. Fun fact, if you have this not flush mounted or anything like that, um, you can take the cover off like that, but yeah, if if it's if it's not flush mounted. But don't don't ever don't try this in the building, please. Alright, you will get caught and you'll get in serious trouble if you tamper with safety equipment, but but yeah, so that is the first notification appliance on the system. And then over here I have the Wheelock MT um 24 LSM. Uh, horn strobe. It's multi-tone. It's pretty awesome. I've been wanting one of these alarms and all that stuff for a while and I now have an MT so apparently it's missing two of the cover pieces but eventually I'll try to find cover pieces for those. If any of you guys have any extra cover pieces for a Wheelock MT just let me know because apparently this looks really ugly with two missing um without the two missing cover pieces so but yeah, so that is pretty much all our devices. And the tone I have to set on is March Time Horn. But like you guys can see, continuous in code 3. So I figured we'd do March Time. So, yep. So, anyway, like that being said, let's go ahead and we'll activate the system, activating the 270 SPO. If you have epilepsy, do not watch this. Here we go. All right, you see we do have audible silence. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make this quick because you know one, it's getting to lay outside where I live, so apparently, and I don't want to keep this on too long, so I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. So, yeah. But all right, anyway, reset that. Now we'll go on to the um, 2400 on the ceiling. So, all right, so on top of this, then we'll go ahead and I'll activate the 2400. Here we go. All right. And now we'll go over here and activate the last pulse station on the system. And that is the Canadian pulse station over here. Here we go. Wow, I think it's pretty loud. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I kind of rushed quick there, but it's getting late at night, and yeah, I don't want to leave this off too long, and yeah, so, all right. And also, I can, oops, I got stuck there, but yeah, there's the moths. So I guess I was right. It's, it's MS301C. Yeah. This pull, I'm not really a fan of these pulls too much, but, but hey, I mean, you know, they work great, so. All right. All right. 
Go over here, turn the flashlight off. All right, and we'll go ahead and put the system back to normal. All right, so that pretty much wraps up for System Test 29. Yeah, sorry this was kind of quick, but it's like it's like getting dark outside, so yeah, it's getting pretty late. It's like I think it's like eight, almost eight thirty, maybe eight forty-five where I'm at right now. So yeah, that's why I had to make this pretty quick. So, but yep. So next, so pretty much um, next test and the test after that. I think System Test Thirty One is going to be the last. Might be the last system test with the FCI panel. And then after that, the new panel will be put up. Um, I'm not sure if it actually works. If it does work, good. I will take this down and put the new panel up. So, But yeah, so like I said, no, I'll have this thing up for sale um, probably soon once uh, I get the new panel up and running. So, But yeah, so... That pretty much wraps up for this video. If you all enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel.